Shama Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Baru Shem Kevo My Uto Leolam Vayet Hear, O Israel, the Lord Ayah the Lord is one. Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah and bless your name.
hallelujah, hallelujah, on his holy Sabbath day, celebrating the Feast of Trumpets. If you don't sound the chauffeur all day long, knowing that we are in preparation, talking about the 10 days of our, we have 10 days before young Kapoor. A time of repentance. A time of preparing your heart. Now you know we have been in the field with the king and we're on those end times of communing with the most high Yah in the field where we know he is the most accessible. Yes. Today is the feast of trumpets. Mm -hmm. I love the fall feast. You know, I might be a little partial to the fall feast because I was born in the fall. I was actually born at the same time that our Mashiach, the King of Kings mm -hmm. and Lord of Lords, was born. So after Yom Kippur, we're going to go right into the Feast of Tabernacle, Sukkot. Come on now. We got some feast days right now that we are walking through these fall feasts. And let me tell you something about when you're walking in the fall feast. The main thing that the enemy will do right now, because we are celebrating the most highest feast, mm -hmm. he will cause war. Mm -hmm. You ain't know that. Mm -hmm. He would call, cause war. So right now the enemy is saying in your life, because you are celebrating the feast of the most high, Yah, mm -hmm. he's saying, I declare war. Mm. You know, that used to be my favorite game as a little kid. <laughs> you know, when we would get the card game and we'll be turning the cards over, turning the cards over, then all of a sudden we lay down the same card. And when we lay down that same card, we got to go into a battle. Mm -hmm. And you had to say out of your mouth, I D K war. So you got to look the enemy right now, yes. face to face. And you got to say back to him, uh -huh. I D K war. Because ah. I'm standing on the promises and the principles of the most high. Yeah. Yes. Oh, he didn't give me a spirit of fear, Hasatan, but power and love and a sound mind. So you thought all this time that things have been going on in your life and you've been feeling like things were a little off mm -hmm. and you've been feeling like, you know, some stuff is out of order. Mm -hmm. But the enemy has declared war on you because you have made a decision. The Most High Yah said to you, I lay before you blessings and curses, life and death. Choose life. You chose life. Mm. The Most High Yah said to you, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. You chose to keep the commandments. Uh -huh. And the book of Leviticus, it lays out all the feast days. Come on now. And you decided you would keep the feast of the Most High Yah. Come on. Because Yah said, it's a holy convocation forever. Mm -hmm. Forever, ever, forever, forever, ever. So it's a holy convocation forever. Mm -hmm. So when the word says, don't count it as a strange thing. Mm. Like these fiery trials have come to test you. Why are you surprised? Mm. Why are you surprised? This is not the time to be surprised. Come on in here, Queen. Come on in here, Queen Erica. This is not the time to be surprised. Come on in here, Queen Angela, Queen Evelyn, Queen Regina. This is not the time Come on. to be surprised. This is the time to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the word of the Most High Yah. 
So I was saying to y'all on yesterday, right? You know, we got these forest fires burning out of control. We got Hurricane Sandy turning up, you know, on the coast. We got all these things going on. We got a pandemic. Uh, we got uh, financial problems in the world. No stimulus, a stimulus. They done stopped the unemployment. We got all these things going on in the world, right? Mm -hmm. And the most how y'all saying, are you surprised? Are you surprised? The most high y'all right now is walking this earth because the king has returned. Mm -hmm. And we're sounding the shofar for the feast of You better sound an alarm. The most high y'all right now is saying, sound the alarm. Ah. This is the great awakening. Come on. And it's time to wake Judah up because Judah been sleeping too long. It is time to wake Judah up because Judah been sleeping too long. And there's something about Judah. Judah loved to sleep. Mm. You know, I be looking at my son sometimes. I be like, my goodness, they'll sleep all day if you let them. Judah just loved to sleep. But they seem, seem to be sleeping at the wrong hour. Mm. Uh-huh. The hour has come. The hour is now. This is your set time for favor. As you walk in the feast days of the Most High, y'all, this is your set time for favor. Mm -hmm. He's about to atone with you. He's about to make atonement for you. So on Monday, September the 28th, 5 a.m. prayer is going to do something we have never done before. Usually when we do Yom Kippur, we do it live. Where we coming in and out and in and out and in and out all day because we're praying all day. But in this season, the Most High Yah has made something real accessible to us. You know, we thought it was for the schools. We thought it was for like meetings. We thought it was for like, you know, social distancing but it was actually for a community mm. that would come together on one accord on Monday, September the 28th. Come on and Zoom with me. Mm -hmm. 5 a.m. prayer is going to do Yum Kapora, and we're going to do it over Zoom. So prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Get your white dress because you're dressed in all white for Yum Kapora. Get your white dress and get ready to Zoom. And get ready to pray all these prayers with us. Get ready to have praise and worship like never before. We going to atone mm -hmm. on Monday. That's actually the second day. Let's get it right. Uh -huh. On the second day, starting at 7 a.m., everybody show up in all your white. You know, when the word says pray without ceasing, that's what he was talking about on Yom Kippur. Yes, we know we have appointed times of prayer. We pray at 9, 12, and 3. But the praying without ceasing is on Yom Kippur. And the great thing about these prayers are the prayers go before you. So you're not praying a prayer that you know that's behind you. You know, you'd be like, forgetting those things are, are left behind because we're coming up on that new year in, in the spring, right? No, these prayers go before you. Uh -huh. So every time the enemy want to come in and kind of attack you, you got all the prayers that don't went before it. So when Yahushua says, I will make the crooked places straight, get ready for every crooked place in your life to straighten out. Because uh -huh. we had a bend in the road, right? If there's a bend in the road, we need that thing to get straightened out, right? Yeah. So these prayers that are we're going to pray out will make every crooked place straight. So I'm going to say it again because some people are coming in late. Maybe you need to put it in the comments. Uh, Yom Kippur is on Monday, September the 28th, starting at 7 a.m., we are going to Zoom for Yom Kippur. I'm so excited. 
I'm so excited. I don't know what to do. Because I just thought we was going to do it on live. But that's how y'all said no. There will be no breaks. When I say to pray without ceasing, you're going to pray without ceasing. There will be no breaks. So get ready. Get your white dress. Now, don't be making no excuse now if you ain't got no white dress talking about I couldn't come. Because I noticed on Zoom, you could throw up a picture with you in a white dress, child, and keep on praying. So, the blessing is in you showing up. So, kings, you need to be dressed in all white, ready to say these prayers. I want you to see how Christianity threw you a counterfeit. See, because on the first Sunday, they dress up in all white. And they do communion. And that is not biblical. That is man-made tradition. Mm -hmm. So, whenever the Most High Yah gives a commandment, Hasatan brings a counterfeit. Mm -hmm. This is the most sacred time, young Kapoor, the Day of Atonement. You don't want to miss it. So we're going to pray these prayers. We're going to do praise and worship. Now, on Yom Kippur, you have to fast. Mm -hmm. You don't eat anything on Yom Kippur until we're done. Now, if you got some kind of health issue, you know you if you're on medication and stuff, you're going to have to eat something. Now, don't be, don't be doing Yom Kippur and fall out somewhere because you said Dr. J said, don't eat that. Mm -mm. If you got any kind of health issues, you go ahead and eat something because you have to. But on Yom Kippur, you fast. You know, I, I used to always be fasting in the church. They was always calling for a fast. But the fast they were calling for was out of order. Do you understand what I'm saying right now? Everything we did in Christianity was out of order. And so now the Most High Yah is setting it up. He's bringing things back in order. And do you know what order is? Order is the accurate arrangement of all things. That's what order is. So your life has been out of order. You've been walking in curses, according to Deuteronomy chapter 28. You have been walking in lies, according to Jeremiah, for surely we have inherited our forefathers' lies. You have been walking in the traditions, the commandments, and the dogmas of men. But if we would just read the word for ourselves, we would find out that the Most High Yah has holy convocations. That the Most High has feast days. And you know what the word says? These are the feast days. Of the most high Yah. Yes. That's what he says. Uh -huh. He didn't say these are Jewish feasts. Don't get it twisted now. That's not even a, a people. That's why they put the ish on the end. These are not the Jewish feasts. These are the feast of Yah. And he names them. The feast of unleavened bread. Passover, Yom Tura, the Feast of Trumpets, Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. We've been keeping holidays mm -hmm. like Christmas, Easter. Y'all even kept Halloween. Y'all brought that thing in the church and called it Hallelujah Night. We want the kids to feel safe, so we're going to just bring Halloween into the church. We're going to call it Hallelujah Night. Now, the kids can dress up, but they can't dress up in nothing demonic. What? We did that in our ignorance. We had trunk or tree. Y'all went to the church, parked y'all cars, so the kids can go from trunk to trunk. Trunk or tree, trunk or tree. Out of order. I think my favorite that y'all did was Easter <laughs> with the bunny rabbit, you know, laying eggs. Mm. I think that was my favorite. They were colored eggs. And you never looked up the pagan holidays that Hasatan gave us as a people. Mm -hmm. We are Hebrew. We are kings and queens. 
We didn't know nothing about all these holidays until we went into captivity for our disobedience. Come on now. The Most High said, I will scatter you to the nations. Mm -hmm. I will scatter you to the nations. Come on, Queen Angela. Y'all called it Harvest Night. Ain't that some mess? Mm. Harvest Night. And they made all the adults bring bags of candy. To, you know, it's funny that church don't never want to support what they're trying to do. Why they didn't buy all the candy? Mm. I'm just saying. You know, we get caught up in some foolishness. And guess what we do? We pay for it. Oh. So you paid your pastors to tell you a lie. Mm. Yeah, you played the harlot, baby. The most high y'all said you committed idolatry. You were a whore. My and guess what? Mm. You wasn't even a good whore. Because you paid your, what would you call them? I ain't trying to put no name on nobody. But anyway, you paid your, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, you paid your clients. <laughs> I'm trying to fix it up. You paid your clients instead of your clients paying you. You wasn't even a good whore. That's in the word. What I'm saying right now, this is scripture. This ain't Dr. J saying you played the harlot, you played a whore, and you wasn't even a good whore. You backslide in Israel. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's the most high y'all saying that. Not me. So we come to set the record straight. We come to bring order in the court. I'm talking about the king's court. Have you noticed in the word of the Most High Yah, it mentions courts all over again? Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Mm -hmm. Court just went right over your head. Court is a legal term, sweetheart. That's a legal term. Everything that the Most High Yah does, he does it by his law. Mm -hmm. So, the word seek Counsel and counselor. That's the law. What happens when you get in trouble in this world? What is the first thing that you do? You seek a lawyer. Why? Mm -hmm. The lawyer knows the Constitution, the lawyer knows your rights. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know your rights, Hasatan could just have his way with you. Mm. So that's the reason why Judah has to wake up mm -hmm. and come on back to the laws of the Most High. Yeah. Judah, did you know you was the lawgiver? Huh? Do, do you understand why it was so easy for some of y'all to wake up when we was like, what? We are under the law? Uh-huh, we are. Do you know why it was so easy for you to wake up? Because he wrote his law on your heart and on your mind. So basically, your heart and your mind begin to remember something. And, and that's the reason why the Most High Yah, throughout his word, he always says, remember, 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 remember my Sabbath day. Remember my feast days. Remember, because you've been asleep. Come on now. They don't remember. You start walking in them. It resonates in your very soul. It resonates in your very soul. Come on now. So as you continue to walk in the feast days of the Most High Yah, you better believe right now that uh, war is coming against you. War is coming against you. And brother, I will understand why you will never seek a lawyer again because some lawyers are not good lawyers. Just like some folks call evil good and good evil. I understand why you wouldn't seek a lawyer because some lawyers will railroad you. I'm giving a basically example of the word being legal mm -hmm. and that this is our legal rights. So I'm thankful to the most high, yeah, that the Torah is not law, it's teachings and instructions. Yes. And it's our schoolmaster. Come on now. That's
that's what it says in the word. The law is our schoolmaster. Yeah. You ain't been to school yet. And Paul said, by now you should be teachers. But some of you need to go back to the first oracles of the Most High Yah. You ain't even been to school yet. So you have to get in the word and you have to read that word from Genesis to Revelation. And you got to have to ask the Ruach HaKadosh to lead and guide you into all truth. Yes. Because the word says you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Mm -hmm. And it's time for us to get free. We've been locked up. We've been locked up. We've been locked up. We've been locked up for too long. We've been chained down for too long. We've been singing that song for too long. I'm so glad trouble don't last always. Oh. Sound like an old, you know, slavery hymn. They taught y'all them songs in slavery. And y'all brought them right out into the church and y'all sang them same songs. We gonna suffer down here a little longer and then we going to heaven. Now Judah, Judah rising up. Now Judah rising up. Because the scepter mm -hmm. shall never depart from the hands of Judah. Judah is saying, this means war. Come on now. What you say? Judah is saying, this means war. And guess what? Hmm. We don't have to fight according to Second Chronicles. You don't have to fight in this battle. Set yourself. Stand still. Uh -huh. And see the salvation of the Most High Yah. Child, they taught us in church to put on that Roman gear, put on the whole arm of God, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation. Ah. You looking like a Roman soldier. Who you about to fight? Mm. The armor of Yah is a priestly garment. It has a breastplate with the 12 stones representing the 12 tribes of Israel. You suited up and don't even know you ain't got to fight. Ooh. There is a messenger called Michael. Ah. And Michael will war. Yes. If you just call him. Y'all out here on your knees praying all day in your Roman soldier gear. Most of y'all don't even recognize you. He like, if you don't take that off and put on your priestly garment. Ah. He called us a royal priesthood. Yeah. A holy nation. Mm. You got on the wrong garments. So therefore, you don't even know. You don't have to fight. You call yourself binding up demons. I bind you. Ooh. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind you. I bind you. I bind you. Child, who you binding? <laughs> you ain't binding up no devils. My Lord. You're walking in the word of the most high Yah, and you are interpreting scriptures the right way. Come on. You're working in kingdom principles yeah. for kingdom living. Uh -huh. And guess what? What? When you begin to teach the kingdom and walk in the kingdom, you know, usually half the time be like, oh, I don't want to be bothered with them. I'm just going to send my little imps. Oh, when you get an understanding of the kingdom, he don't send the imps. He comes directly for you himself. So you might want to call Michael. Every morning you hit the floor, you must know that you have messengers on assignments for you. I know in the Bible they say angels, but it's not angels, it's messengers. Yeah. Michael is your warring mm -hmm. messenger. Raphael is your healing messenger. Gabriel is your messenger that will bring the message. And Uriel is your messenger of light. And guess what? It's all in the book of Revelations. If you don't know about the messengers, that means you're not reading the word. It's all in the book of Revelations. I'm so excited that today is Yom Tura, the Feast of Trumpets. I'm so excited on this Sabbath day. So you're walking in a double blessing today. Doubly fruitful. Come on now. Are y'all reading the word? Mm. 
Are y'all reading the word? Mm -mm. Come on, queen. Come on, queen, Adrian. I love you, girl. Are y'all reading the word? Because the only way you're going to know this and understand it is you have to read the word. Mm -hmm. Now, you can't pick and choose it like it's a box of trail mix or something. You can't do it like it's a, a, a box of Skittles taste the rainbow. No. Mm -hmm. You got to read all of the word. You know, some of y'all started at Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And the word is like a two-edged sword. Come on. What you doing starting at Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and the word is like a two-edged sword? It cuts. Ooh. It has to Tanakh, the Old Testament on one side, and the Brit, hot shot, the New Testament on the other side. Now you're able to cut some stuff. Come on. Your sword is dull. It's actually broken. Because you're walking with half the word. So you got half. I can't even say you got revelation. You don't. You have no revelation without the Torah. Let's get that straight. There is no revelation without the Torah. Got it? Got it. All right. I want everybody to type in the comments today because this is serious. I declare war. Ooh. All right, Most High Yah, that came straight from you. I declare war. You can't lie to me no more. You can't disguise your season no more. You can't cover up who we are. Because the first shall be last, mm -hmm. and the last shall be first. Oh, you're going to give me back my stuff. Yeah. Because the Most High Yah said 400 years is up, according to the book of Genesis. I ain't fighting. The word does not return void. Mm -hmm. Neither shall it be reversed, and it will do exactly what the Most High Yah sent it to do. I ain't fighting. It's time. It's called the restoration of all things. Do you know that? Yeah. The restoration of all things. Mm -hmm. Are y'all really studying? Yes. Be honest. Are y'all really studying? Yes. Bless you, Gina Tay. I got you lifted, Queen. I got you lifted. Most of us say, stop calling her Gina Tay. They're going to really think that's her name. Her name is Jean Queen Gina. I put the tail on the end. Anyway. Bless you, Queen Gina. So, yeah, you can't. And you're right. For some of us, it is too late. They done took our identity. They done made up some land. They done, you know, got us walking in some of their traditions. Uh, a lot of things. For some of them, yeah, it is too late. Because you don't understand. The revelation of Yahuwah HaMashiach. Mm -hmm. Come on, Apostle Timothy. You better post that I declare war in a time of the Feast of Trumpets. Come on now. We leading up to Yom Kippur and we so excited about it. We so excited. I know they call this the 10 days of Ah, but these are the 10 days leading up to Yom Kippur. And we have to understand sometimes Everyone is at a different level. And I need to say this like every time I come on and teach. Everyone is at a different level. So the most high y'all might have you, you know, in the beginner's class. You might be in preschool right now. <laughs> you might just be learning and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But every step you take, the most high uh, y'all will bring you revelation of his word. So don't get upset or confused. I, sometimes I be seeing people, you know, they, they say in Shabbat Shalala Wada. I don't even know how to say that. But um, they, be saying some, <laughs> they be saying some different Hebrew words than I'm saying. And I'll be like this. Most high, you have not given me that revelation. Shabbat Shalala Wada. What is that? And so I begin to dig and begin to look up the words. And a lot of times it's the Paleo Hebrew. And I get it. I get it. So when you study the word out, you do want to study the Paleo Hebrew. 
You do want to get in that, the, the book of Apocrypha. You do want to get in the cipher. There are so many books you need to get in, but sometimes we at different levels. So don't come on here because you know a new word now, and now you using that word. Now I'm just keeping it 100. I think that's what's upset me, Queen Angela. You know they get their doctor's degree in Shawala Walla, and next thing I know, Sister, it is not Shabbat Shalom. That is not the word. He'd be like, but you used to say Shabbat Shalom. You used to say that. Now, all of a sudden, you Shabbat Shalom, what a good off. You know what I'm saying? So, look. We going to be led by the spirit of the Most High Yah on 5 a.m. prayer. So, if you walking with me, we walking together. But if we ain't walking together... And you feel like I'm walking too slow? Leave me back here, child. I'm walking with the most high y'all. He'll catch me up when he want me to. But for some reason, he takes me the way he's going to take me. And folks are like, why is it taking you so long to get there? Oh, Lord. I'm like, you ain't the most high. You didn't give me this assignment. <laughs> and so maybe he keeps me in this position so when people do come on, they can really understand because we walk a little slow. <laughs> we might be riding a little yellow bus, but we know the word. Oh, we know the word. Now, don't get it twisted. Come on, queen. She said, I thought I was getting down with my Hebrew and purple was throwing me off with the letters and the not words. I'm trying to tell y'all and don't be listening to everybody. Oh my gosh, don't do it. Now that'll mess you up. Listening to everybody. <laughs> everybody come out Hebraically and they come out a different way. Don't be listening to everybody. Okay, let's, let's clear the air on that because I was like, Shabbat Shabbat Walla. How you spell it? S H A W L L L something? I don't know. I was like, I'm still at the Shalom part and that is in the word, so I know I am scripturally correct. I'm just trying to be biblically correct. So uh, Shabbat Shalom is still accepted by the Most High Yah. So I'm going to take my Shabbat Shalom and I'm going to keep saying it. <laughs> until he give me Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> Tell the truth, King Raynard. King Raynard said, I'm witnessing it. I'm serious. That's confusing. I, I was thinking, look, King Raynard, I was thinking like, should I be teaching Hebrew? I don't even know the words. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Queen Angela. I'll be like, am I teaching Hebrew? Because these folks be throwing words out there. I don't know them words, Queen Gina. Thank you, King. We are not on the short bus. We are ahead of the game. Thank you for that. Because I'll be like, oh, my gosh. Some of the things, you know, I used to call them Yeshua. Now it's Yahushua. I done heard Yahuwa Dua. I done heard so many words. I need the word of the most high Yah. You're messing me up with these words. I know I'm not by myself. It was Yeshua. Now it's Yahshua. Now it's Yahuda. I'm just going to call him y'all. I can't. You know, I'm just going I, 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 I'm just going to call him y'all. Look at King Raynard. I'm learning that too. It's killing me. Come on, Pastor. Pastor Reddings. You know, when you cross over here, Bradley, you might become cross-eyed. Because <laughs> you don't understand. I'm like, can we wake the people up first, please? Can we wake them up? I'm saying stuff that folks scared to say. They see Shabbat Shawala Walla and they be like this. Ooh. Should I be saying that word instead of Shabbat Shalom? I know it's like, should I say Yahusha or Yahuda? What should I say? Stop it, y'all. Y'all confusing the people. Y'all are confusing the people. Stop it.
I'm trying to just wake you up. First of all, you didn't even know you were no longer that you were under the law. Can I just teach them the law? Can I start there and the wake up? And then can I teach them the feast days to celebrate the feast days because they were on the wrong days? Then can I teach them the Hebrew calendar and then maybe we'll get to Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> Whew. I'm serious. I know this folks, you know, that was with me before. Now they didn't graduate to Shawala Walla. They don't come on no more. <laughs> I guess I'm too slow for them. <laughs> I'm just praising the most high y'all because he is so amazing. So y'all stick with me. Stick with me. We're going to get to Shawala Walla. I promise. We're going to get there. Mm -hmm. We're going to get there. <clears throat> So, I, my spirit, I just had to put that out there. You know, and folks be coming on saying, what's that other word? A con, a con, a con I don't know. All, all, all these, all these words. I tell y'all what, since y'all putting on words up there, won't y'all tell what the word mean? That'll make you smart. <laughs> it's not smart to give somebody a word and they don't know what the word mean. You look smart, but you ain't teaching nobody. So I got a king in here today to know some Hebrew words. Why don't you put some Hebrew words up and tell us what the Hebrew words mean? And as the teaching is going forward, we can go back later and learn Shabbat Shalom. How about that? Let's all teach together. If you at a different level and you know more than me, put it in the comments so I can go back and search it out. Say it again, that part. One thing about Dr. J, I'm going to keep it real. Tired of folks acting so smart and they ain't telling you what the words mean. Anybody know what the Shawala, is it just Shalom? But it's like the correct pronunciation in Paleo Hebrew? And if that is it, tell it. With your smart but dumb self. What's the use of gaining all this knowledge which is information and then the folks don't have no understanding which is comprehension I can't comprehend what you saying so therefore I can't even move to wisdom and apply the words cause I don't know what you saying <laughs> Queen Gina you better say it attach a scripture to it and where you got it from I know that's right Cause that's our 5 a.m. prayer walk. We're biblically correct. Yes, yes. We're not politically correct. You better get your political self out of here. Huh? We're scripturally correct. Yeah. And this had to be said. Cause I'm tired now. I'm tired of all these words messing up my mind. <laughs> At least on 5 a.m. prayer, we tell you what the word is and give you the definition and give you understanding so you can make a wisdom and apply it to your life. You can't grow like that. <laughs> Queen Vicky, I'm going to catch you up in two seconds, girl. You know how you listen to folks, different Hebrew folks? Right now, we at Shabbat Shalom. I just feel like, okay, that's elementary, Shabbat Shalom. But it's in the Word, so we're going to walk it out. So I said, then folks be coming to Shabbat Shawala Walla. Have you seen that word? <laughs> Or they use some other stuff like mishpan and some other stuff and all these Hebrew words. And, I, and I'm looking at the words like, what that mean? So folks teach Hebrew with no understanding. So how do we even know what they're talking about? Study research to show thyself approved. But guess what? Study research to show thyself approved, but don't come at me with something and don't give me the definition. And I'm studying and I'm researching to show myself approved. Help me out. That's our problem. We don't want to help nobody. We need to help one another. Show me where you got it and I'll go study that thing out in a heartbeat. I am a researcher person. I love you, King, because you truly study. And when you learn stuff, there it is. What does Shawala Mala mean? See, Queen Regina? Y'all been scared to ask the question that Dr. J is putting on the table this afternoon. 
What does it mean, King? We'll wait. Where you at? What does it mean? We'll wait. Anybody know what that word mean? What it mean? It's the commentary for me. Okay. I want to know. Me too. Queen Regina. Is it Shalom in the paleo? Yeah, I think it's Shalom. Don't think. I don't need no think. I need a correct answer. Are you looking it up? Yeah. Is somebody looking it up? Let's look it up together today. Let's look it up. At least we can walk away today saying Shabbat 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 <clears throat> Let's all look it up. Oh, yes, me too. I be trying to look them up to show myself approved. I'm with you, queen, too. Teach me. I'm serious. Teach me. Someone says this to me ending a text message. Exactly. I get that too, Queen Regina. I'll be like this. See you later. Bye. Because I don't know what that means. I'm so glad we right here today because we all need understanding. So what does it mean? Anybody found it? Okay. All right. All right. Ooh. I'm excited now. I'm not just a teacher. I'm a student. And I am not too humble to say I don't know something. It's Come shalom. on, King. Huh? Shalom, peace. That's what I thought. I can assume all day long. She looked it up. Guys, it says um, shalom, meaning peace. So we say Shabbat Shalom. They say Shabbat Shawala Walla. It means, it still means peace. It's the same thing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, I'm not just a teacher. I'm a student of the word. And I'm not too humble to say, I don't know something. We all just crossed over Hebraically. How y'all going to wake up and know everything? You don't know everything. So we need to do this thing together. Help a sister out. Thank you. That's my disclaimer for today. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Help a sister out. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Tamisha, Queen. It's just a different way of saying it. But they just make like they so smart when they say it that way, Queen Tamisha. <laughs> and I hope I'm not messing up your name. They just act like, you know, they so smart when they say different words and I don't know them. And I'll be like, most high, he'd be like, Dr. J, don't you get caught up in those words. Can you keep teaching? If I wanted you to have those words, I would have gave them to you. That's the clue, y'all. If you don't take anything else from this, if the Holy Spirit wants you to know that word, the Holy Spirit will give it to you. All right. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Thank you, beautiful one, that I said your name correctly. Because, girl, I will butcher some names. Do you understand me? I will tear up a name. For real. Like, I can't pronounce these Hebrew words. And I know y'all be cracking up laughing at me when I be trying to say them. But the main thing is, it's about teaching one another. Let's do this thing together. Can we do it together? I don't know more than you. You don't know more than me. Let's sit down. Let's reason together. I think that would be an awesome thing if we would sit down and reason together. You know, I had this brother come on my page the other day and bless him, King Kurt. He didn't understand a post that I made and he just jumped on me. I was like, wait a minute, brother. I don't even, what are you talking about? If you don't go listen to the teaching, you're not going to know what the post meant. And he was like, what am I, psychic or something? I mean, going off on me. I was like, most high, y'all, they put a block and delete button on Facebook for a reason. Can I block and delete now? He said, no. You don't want to lose a brother or a sister over a misunderstanding. You're Hebrew. Some folks know things you don't know, and you know things that folks don't know. Let's reason together. 
Let's walk this out together to get an understanding. So I kept walking that thing out with that brother and that brother kept coming at me and I just kept taking the law. I said, ooh, 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 ooh. You know, because you know, I, I'm from the streets of Queens, New York. Now, I'll fight you. Don't get it twisted. I'm from the streets of Queens, New York, baby. I will fight you. But I kept because the Holy Spirit, the Ruach, was like, Ruach means spirit. Because I noticed I'd be saying that too, just assuming people know what the Ruach. That means spirit. So if I say Ruach HaKadosh, that's Holy Spirit. Mm. Did he? So look, King, I just kept going back forth with him. And before it was over with, I had won my brother. Next thing I know, he was calling me great Hebrew queen. Thank you. He went and started liking all the posts. He went and listened to the teaching. It's because we're ignorant. And when we wake up, we think we know everything. You don't know everything. Can we just reason together? So now, we good. I didn't lose a brother over a misunderstanding. And I'm finding out he breakly. All these different Hebrews, child, child, girl. <laughs> I thought we had division in the church. You had the apostolic. You had the Baptist. You had the Pentecost. You had Church of God in Christ. You had the non-denominational. Non you had, I'm just getting started. You had, I'm tired. You had all these different divisions in the church. Then you wake up Hebraically, and you got all this division in the Hebrew. I'm like, oh, come on, man. We got to come on one accord. Yes. And wake up together. Mm -hmm. That's why I can't listen to everybody. Look at him. No comment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why I can't listen to everybody. Because they will straight out attack you for not knowing something. It's like... Are you a teacher? <laughs> Are you a teacher? Because mm -hmm. if you're a teacher, you can teach this thing. Come on now. Okay. Yes, we are. Thank you, King. We are still divided. Because half, half of us are asleep. Come on. And the ones that have awakened, they might as well have stayed asleep. Because they bring division. Ooh. And I said it. You want some? Come get it. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing that. You know, that Queens, the streets came out. Hold, hold, my, hold me back now. All right. I'm just playing. But I'm serious. Some of the folks that woke up, they should have stayed asleep. That's why I honor Pastor Keith Wilkins and First Lady Charnette. He ain't coming to try to, like, tear you down. He's coming with history to bring you knowledge to wake you up. Yes. He ain't about you don't know this and you don't know that. He's about giving it to you, showing you how to research it, and showing you how to find it. Mm -hmm. These other folks wake up Hebrew, they be like, like it's their book. I'm hiding everything. That's crazy to me. Mm -hmm. That's just crazy to me, Queen Regina. You wake up and you hide the word. Oh. That's crazy. Tired of this Hebrew movement. Child, y'all need to stop. Come on. Put the brakes on <clears throat> mm -hmm. until you're ready to teach somebody. Just put the brakes on until you're ready to teach somebody. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you come to a bend in the road? <laughs> right now in your life, have you come to a bend? In the road? Yes, I crossed over Hebraically and they getting on my nerve. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> Have you come to a bend in the road? Has this pandemic caused you to have anxiety? Have waking up Hebraically caused you to have headaches? <laughs> You are at a bend in the road. <laughs> are you in the valley of decisions? <laughs> what shall we say then? Huh? We gonna let y'all be true. Yes. And every man a liar. Boom. And that's the word. Boom. 
Thank you, Most High, y'all. I think I'll say that again, Queen Gina. We gonna let y'all be true uh -huh. and every man a liar. Come on. Boom. Boom. I think we ready for this teacher now. Now that we done, you know, ask some real questions. You know, I ask the question that nobody want to ask. Y'all just sit down and be like this. I don't know. I don't know. And, and sometimes we don't want to, you know, feel like we're ignorant. Ignorant is not a bad word. It means you don't know. Right. I say it all the time. I'm ignorant in that area. I don't know. I'm not going to speak on something that I don't know. So, we together now. Mm -hmm. We going to ride 5 a.m. prayer together. Yes. Okay, we're going to ride 5 a.m. prayer together. We're going to listen to Pastor Keith Wilkins. Uh-huh. Okay? Yeah. There is a Pastor Gillette. Uh -huh. He's awesome, too. And the sons of Yah. Now, if you stay within that little parameter, you might be all right. <laughs> now, if you step outside of that, you're on your own. <laughs> I don't like all these teachers. I see why, Queen, you know, Gina, you said to me on yesterday, you was like, is this the new year? I said, girl, no, this is not the new year. It's not. The Jewish people are celebrating Rosh Hashanah right now. It's their new year. It's not our new year. She was like, girl, that's why you can't have like more than one teacher child. Because somebody be teaching this and somebody be teaching this and somebody be teaching that and somebody be teaching that. Stop fooling with all them teachers <laughs> and sharing them on your page. I'll be seeing y'all be like, they are confused. Ooh. When I look at some of y'all pages, and I do, I ain't going to lie. And y'all sharing all that stuff. I said, they are confused. They are confused. You're saying Yahushua in one, one breath. And you're saying Jesus in another. Ooh. You're doing Hebrew in one breath. You're doing church in another. Can you make a decision? How long? <laughs> Will you fault up between two opinions? Oh, Lord. You look like Christianity with a Hebrew dog on pressure on. Okay, that's it. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to stay off y'all pages. <laughs> I'm going to stay off y'all pages because y'all got me confused. I don't know if you're Hebrew or not. Well, folks say, well, I got Christian friends. I'm sorry. The Most High separate. He called Israel to separate themselves. Okay. I might... I might, I might have associates that are Christians, but I ain't sharing nothing on my page about Christianity. You'll never see that. They do their thing, I do my thing. And when we come, hey, I tell them in a heartbeat, you already know, don't come at me with that. Because that's what I'm not going to do. So, y'all clean up your pages. <laughs> Look at King Raynard. I'm noticing that too. I know, they confused. How you going to share Dr. J on your page and then I see Pastor T.D. Jakes? Ooh, huh? Or Bishop T.D. Jakes? Huh? He in Christianity. I don't care how motivational he is. He ain't got no motivation without the Torah. Ooh. Yes, I said it. Ooh. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> Bishop T.D. Jakes. Girl, you better get out of here with that. Huh? Mm-mm. Huh? Dr. J don't roll with Bishop T.D. Jakes. Let's get it straight. Okay. He's a Christian. Yeah. So, uh -huh. get it together. Okay. I know that's right, Queen Adrian. I love it. Pork or steak? <laughs> Pork chop or lamb chop? <laughs> Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. They don't believe what you believe. Okay. Come on, Queen Angela said, Hello. like pastor well prophet Keith Wilkins said the other day he coming with a sword ah. and the sword done showed up on 5 a.m. prayer ministries Ooh. you better stop it huh. so y'all confusing me if y'all still in the church hey you in there hey and you sure enough ain't ashamed of it cause you posted it yeah. Ooh, pastor gave a good word. I was like, huh? huh? You was live with a pastor on Sunday? Huh? On the wrong day? Ooh. 
It would have been best for you if you never knew. Huh? I'm going to leave that right there in that scripture. It would be best for you if you had never known the truth. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, fire coming today. Huh? Straight Holy Ghost fire. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> Straight Holy Ghost fire. Come on, Jeremiah. Come on, Jeremiah. <laughs> Straight Holy Ghost fire. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give it to you straight. No shooter. No chaser. Got to give it to you straight. No chaser. All right now. All right now. Woo! Hallelujah. It seems like the most high y'all has been cleaning the house for weeks now, if you haven't noticed. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Uh -huh. The most high y'all has been, like, cleaning house. Come on, King. King Raynard, sing that song. Sweep around your own front door. Oh, Lord. Before you decide to sweep around mine. Yes! The most high y'all is cleaning house. Clean us up and get us ready for Yom Kippur. You can't do Yom Kippur if you're still doing Christianity. Whoop. So the most high y'all now is getting you cleaned up so when you do put on your white, you're not tainted. Your heart is right. You can come before the king for atonement. Mm -hmm. So that's what this is all about. The Most High Yah was like, tie it together so they know what you're talking about. He's getting you ready for Yom Kippur. But he needs you to make a decision. Choose this day. Ooh. Who you going to serve? With a T. Oh. Period. Choose this day. Who you gonna serve? Don't be showing up no, at no Yom Kippur with all your white on knowing you going to church tomorrow. Oh, father. Don't do it. Because you a liar and the truth ain't in you. <laughs> Period. Now you can't get all this word and still remain the same. That means you just showing up, what you, what you need, uh, a, a high or something, the emotional high. We ain't even emotional on here. We're not emotional. The most high yah is not a yah of emotion. I love that statement. A lot of Hebrews practicing like they are new, a different type of Christian. Ooh. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me the most high. Yeah, that's all he wants. He wants the truth. Mm -hmm. Walk in truth. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you his enemy, just be his enemy. Stay on that side. Ooh. I don't need to be thinking like you with us and then like you was never with us. If you was with us, you would have continued with us and you didn't stop. Uh. That's word too. Uh. So come out from among them. Be ye separate and holy. Because the Most High Yah is a holy Yah. Y'all got it? Nobody moved right now. They listening, Most High Yah. Because you talking. This is not me talking. Uh -uh. This has to be said. Uh -huh. I'm serious. It has to be said. So, we're going to get to this part two of a bend in the road. And I need y'all to pray for me because my voice is really trying to leave. Can you warm this tea for me? I don't ever do that. Um, I need y'all to pray for me because my voice is really trying to leave. So, Colorado has been very smoky. And the other day, <clears throat> you know, I run a daycare. So, I was outside with the daycare kids. And then I found out through the news, they was like, the air quality was so bad that it was like if you were smoking two cigarettes <clears throat> if you were outside. And so once I came back in, I began to start losing my voice. I'm like, no, nah, man, no, nah, come on. I need my voice. You know Dr. J is loud. I, I don't turn me down now. Turn me up. So <clears throat> I need y'all to pray for me because my voice is um, trying to go out. So now we're going to walk through this teaching. Can I say something to y'all? I love y'all. Queen Angela, Queen Evelyn. Queen Regina, 
Queen Adrian, Queen Tanisha. What other queens I got on here that I might have missed? King Reynard, King Eli. I love y'all. Queen Erica. I love y'all. Thank you for praying for me, Queen. Thank you. We're going to get through this teaching. <clears throat> I'm just going to need the Ruah Hakadash, the Holy Spirit, as always, take over. It ain't never me. It's always him. And so you already know my voice is going to be like this. And so we're going to walk it out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. I was, I was about to make a joke to some of y'all still in the church. When y'all know when y'all did that creed, haven't been led by the Spirit of God, haven't been baptized. Let me stop, okay? <laughs> I'm messing with Christianity. I just That just popped up in my mind. Okay, most high said stop it. Okay. <laughs> that was Dr. J. That was not the most high. <laughs> I just had to throw that out. I don't know why that popped up in my mind. Because I remember getting baptized and reading that doggone covenant, the church covenant on the wall. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to let that go. Love you more, Queen Adrian. Queen Angela, girl, you is my boo girl. You don't know it, but you are, child. I'll be watching you. I'll be watching you. I love you so much. I do. All right. Whew. Hey, Woo, most high. Mm -hmm. I come lifting up everyone on Facebook Live this afternoon. <clears throat> the ones that are listening live and the ones that will listen later. When Yahushua sat down with the Talmudines, the disciples, you began to open their understanding. You said through all your giddy, get an understanding. Give us understanding of your word. Let your Ruah HaKadosh lead and guide us into all truth like never before. Raphael, I dispatch Raphael right now to bring healing in my voice. I dispatch Michael to war for me in the atmosphere that this word will go forth, that it will not fall on stony ground. Help us to remember, giving you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And it's in the mighty, mighty name of Yahushua, I pray. Amen, 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 and amen. The word says, if two or three gather together in his name, that he would be in the midst. The word says, if two touch and agree on anything, it shall be done. And I know I can't do nothing this afternoon without this word being established. Through the law, the prophets, and the writings. So the method style of study, it is a process of studying the word of Ahia, Asha, Ahia. Mm -hmm. Which is I am that I am in Hebrew. The great I am. The Yah of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we seek his guidance and live in a kingdom lifestyle. The Torah is the Most High Yah's teachings and instructions in 613 principles. Is where the Creator speaks, Mother. And then we search the witnesses through the books of the prophets, the Nevi'ims, and the books of the writings, the Ketavims, collectively the Torah, the Nevi'ims, and the Ketavims, or identified as the Tanakh, which is the Old Testament's proper title. And it's the only book that Yahushua studied and referenced throughout the New Testament. 1 Samuel, chapter 26, verse 23. May the Most High repay every man for his righteousness and his faithfulness 
For the Most High, Yah, delivered you into my hands today, but I would not stretch out my hand against the Most High anointed. Today we look to the word faithfulness. M U N O D. Firmness, steadfastness, steadiness. Truth, faithfulness. Oh, that's all the introduction tied up in a bow. Mm. The Torah testifies. Exodus chapter 17, verse 12. But Moses' hands were heavy. <clears throat> and they took a stone and put it under him. Come on, Prophet Wilkins. And he sat thereon. And Aaron and her stayed his hands. The one on the one side. And the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 4. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment. A Yah of truth and without iniquity. Just and right is he. Come on, introduction. The prophets proclaim. And righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins and faithfulness the girdle of his reins Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1 oh most high thou art my Yah I exalt thee I will praise thy name for thou has done wonderful things thou counsel of all are faithfulness and truth. Wow. Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 3. Oh, most high Yah, are not thou eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. Oh my goodness. Hosea chapter 2 verse 20. I will even patrol thee unto me in faithfulness, and thou shalt know the most high Yah. The writings bear witness. Second Kings chapter 12, verse 15. Moreover, over, they reckon not with the men. And to whose hand they delivered the money to be bestowed on workmen, for they dealt faithfully. Second Chronicles chapter 19, verse 9. And he charged them, saying, Thus say ye, do in the fear of the Most High Yah faithfully and with a pure heart. You better do this, Most High Yah. Psalms chapter 36, verse 5. Thou mercy, O Most High Yah, is in the heavens, and thou faithfulness reaches unto the clouds. Psalms chapter 40, verse 10. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared that righteousness and thou salvation. I have not concealed thou loving kindness and thou truth from the great congregation. 
Mm. Lamentations. Chapter 3. Verse 23. They are new. Every morning. Great. Is thou faithfulness. Oh we have completed the method style of study this afternoon. Reviewing faithfulness. Faithfulness, immunah in Hebrew. First, we recognize a standard that's set in the Torah. In 613 principles. Then we search the witnesses in the books of the prophets, the Nevi'im, in the books of the writings, the Ketavim. Collectively, the Torah, the Nevi'im, and the Ketavim or identified as the Tanakh, which is the Old Testament's proper title. And it's the only book that Yahushua studied in reference throughout the New Testament. 5 a.m. prayer. As we may be enduring our own personal bends in our roads, never forget. The Most High Yah is faithful and has never failed on his word. As we are in the last day of Elud, the King loved on us like never before. And it doesn't end here but he is going to seal us in his love. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. In wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation, the fear of the most high Yah is his treasure. Shalom Alakim means peace be unto you. 5 a.m. prayer community. The Most High Yah cares about you. It is time for you to be sealed, but you must return back to his laws and his original plan for me. So now, what? That's the scripture for the teaching. Mm -mm, I need the scripture for the teaching. So now, are you ready for the word of Yah, the father of Abraham, the father of Isaac, the father of Jacob. Are you ready for the word of Yah, the father of Abraham, the father of Isaac, the father of Jacob? This afternoon, we are coming out of the book of Isaiah. Let the prophet speak. Isaiah chapter 49 in its entirety. Again, this afternoon, we are coming out of the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 49 in its entirety. And it reads. Listen, O owls, unto me. And hearken, ye people, from afar. The Most High Yah has called me from the womb. From the bowels of my mother has he made mention of my name. 
And he has made my mouth like a sharp sword. You better come out, Holy Ghost. And he has made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand has he hid me and made me a polished shaft. In his quiver hath he hid me. And said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Then I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for naught and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with the Most High Yah, and my work is with my Yah. And now, says the Most High Yah, that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered, Yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Most High Yah, and my Yah shall be my strength. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserve of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Thus said the Most High Yah, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to him who man despiseth. To him who the nations abhorreth. To a servant of rulers. King shall see and arise. Princes also shall worship. Because of the Most High Yah that is faithful. And the Holy One of Israel. And he shall choose thee. Oh my goodness. Thus says the Most High Yah. In an acceptable time. These are my feasts, Dr. J. In an acceptable time have I heard thee. And in a day of salvation have I helped thee. And I will preserve thee and give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth, to cause to inherit the desolation heritage. That thou mayest say to the prisoners, you better come on, Holy Ghost. You better come on, Holy Ghost. That thou mayest say to the prisoners, go forth to them that are in darkness. Show yourselves. They shall feed. And the ways and their pastures shall be in all high places. They shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor sun smite them. For he that hath mercy on them shall leave them even by 
the springs of water shall he guide them. Come on, Mosiah, y'all. And I will make all my mountains away. And my highways shall be exalted. Behold, these shall come from afar. And lo, these from the north and from the west and these from the land of Sinan. Say, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains, for the Most High Yah hath comforted his people. And will have mercy upon his afflicted. But Zion said, The Most High Yah has forsaken me. And the Most High has forgotten me. I'm talking about a bend in the road. You might be feeling like that. But Zion said, the Most High has forsaken me. And the Most High has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her sucking child that she should not have compassion of the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. Thou children shall make haste, thou destroyer, and they that made thee waste shall go forth of thee. Lift up thy eyes round about, and behold, all these gather themselves together and come to thee as I live says the Most High Yah, thou shalt surely clothe thee with them all as with an ornament and bind them on thee as a bride doeth. For thou waste and thou desolate places and the land of thou destruction shall even now be too Narrow by reason of the inhabitants. And they that swallow thee up shall be far away. The children which thou shalt have after thou hast lost the other shall say again in thy ear. The place is too straight for me. Give place to me that I may dwell. Then shalt thou say in thy heart, Who has begotten me these? Seeing I have lost my children and am desolate a captive and removing to and fro and who has brought up thee behold i was left alone where had they been that says the most high yah behold i will lift up my hand to the gentile and set up my standard to the people. And they shall bring thy sons in their arms, and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. 
and kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens thou nursing mothers. Sound like the tables are turning. Because wasn't it us hmm. on them slavery plantations <laughs> that was breastfeeding their babies? And kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their faces towards the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am the most high Yah, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. Oh my goodness. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Are the lawful captive delivered? But thus says the Most High Yah, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend. What you say? Mm -hmm. I declare war. For I will contend with him that contended with thee. And I will say, thou children. Ooh. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. And they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I am the most high Yah, am thou Savior, and thou Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob, to the most high be the glory. For the things that he has done. I'm going to let the word speak today. All praises to the most high Yah. All praises to the most high Yah. Play the music. We're done. praises to the most high Yah. The word spoke now today. To I wish I would come with a commentary. The word spoke to you. Make a decision. Where do you stay? Who's on your side?
understanding of my word first. The dialogue, the dialect, the word translation will come. But the main thing I need you to get is an understanding of my word. What sense does it make to say Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat? And you don't know what Isaiah is saying. You don't know that I'm the one and only Mosiah. Come into relationship with me and I will teach you the things that you need to know. I'm looking for a relationship. It's relationship first, then knowledge, then understanding, and then wisdom. Oh, I thank him for loving me. I don't know about nobody else, but I thank him for loving me. All praises to the most high Yah. Absolutely powerful. He spoke. His word spoke. His word spoke. I'm done today. <clears throat> I'm done. Y'all share this video. Y'all go back and listen again. Read it for yourself. And the only way to Understand the parables is to know that the Most High is speaking to you. Because when the Talmudines asked, why do you speak in parables? He said, because I speak to the ones that don't know. The ones I'm speaking to, you do know. So, the Most High Yah will hide things. But it's up to a king because he has concealed it to search it out. 
<clears throat> I'm done today. I am so in awe with the Most High God. So may the Most High Yah bless you and keep you. May the Most High Yah make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Most High Yah lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Israel and I will bless them. Glory, 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 glory. So get to the blog spot, get to Facebook, get to YouTube. It will encourage you. Have a supernatural Sabbath day. Enjoy your Sabbath rest. Seek the most high Yah like never before. I love you, love you, love you. You know I love you. Bye now. So amazingly good. So powerful. All praises to the Most High Yah.